Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today's video is going to be my May faves and fails. It's a video where I go over what I liked during the month, what I didn't like so much, review kind of the big videos that I did and put it all in one little video to wrap it all up for you. So today I thought we'd do another around the house version. I'm going to start here at the filming space because this is where the makeup is and some of my things that I've tested this month. And then I have a lot of things that are like down in my bathroom and around the house. So I thought we would just walk around instead of bringing everything up here and we'll do it that way. And the last time I did it that way, you guys really seem to enjoy it. So if you love a good faves and fails video, go ahead and give the video a like. And of course, subscribe to my channel while you're down there and hit that notification bell. So you're always notified whenever I upload a new video. So let's get started. So the first thing I wanna talk about for this video is sunscreen because I put up my sunscreen testing video in May and that's always an epic video. And so many of you guys wait for it all year. And thanks so much for letting me know that you wait for it and that you love the video and I really enjoy making it for you. So this year I tested 24 sunscreens and here they are. This was quite the epic project. Uh, if you watch that video, you already know that I got like three quarters of the way through testing these and the hard drive where I save all the clips that shows how they look. Uh, it failed and so all the videos were just gone. I had to retest all the sunscreens and so it was really like an epic project to get them all retested within a couple of weeks and then get the video up. So with 24 mineral sunscreens tested, that brings my total up to over 200 sunscreens that I've tested over the years that I've been testing sunscreens. I would say that about half of these were fails. The worst one was probably this Copper Tone face sunscreen. Whenever I see like a big drugstore brand coming out with a mineral face sunscreen, I'm always so hopeful that it's going to be like the one that because they have all the money, you know, and all the best formulators on their payroll, that they will make a beautifully elegant sunscreen that you can actually wear. But once again, no, they didn't. Um, they made something that was really greasy, had a big white cast. And so I really did not like this one. You know, it would be great if we could get a great sunscreen that was at this price point, because as we know, sunscreen is expensive, especially in the way that you have to reapply it. So that was the worst of the bunch. That one was an epic fail. There were a lot of things that worked well under makeup, but didn't maybe look so great on their own or things that look great on their own, but didn't work at all under makeup. So a lot of different categories in that video. I talk about the fragrance, the oily feel, uh, if it has a white cast. So definitely check out that video. I will link it for you right up here. And you can go over and take a look at that one in case you missed it. But the winner this year was also a drugstore brand and that is Neutrogena. It's a tinted sunscreen. It comes in four different shades. If you're looking for a really nice tinted sunscreen, this could be a good one to try. It does have like a greasy feel on the skin and it doesn't really dry and set back. It has a really super shiny finish, which normally those two things combined will be like the kiss of death for me with the sunscreen. But I gotta say, I love this one because of how makeup went on over it. It really was great under makeup. The shine did come through and I did look shinier and shinier throughout the day. Since I was testing it, I didn't blot, I didn't powder, I left it. You know, under normal circumstances where I can kind of reduce the shine during the day, this is really great under makeup. It didn't settle in my wrinkles, it didn't wear off super fast, and it was a great one. So that's one to look out for, not necessarily the cheapest one in the bunch. And it is an SPF 30. You guys know I prefer an SPF 50. You know, so by the end of that video, I was pretty much recommending my Holy Grail sunscreens, my tried and trues, which I talked about them in last month's faves and fails and at the end of that video. So I'm not gonna talk about them here again today, but I'll link them all below the video in case you're looking for a really good SPF 50, you know, or higher SPF sunscreen to use on your face that's mineral for every day. So that was it for the sunscreens in the video. Then I did pick up one other sunscreen that I had wanted to get into the video, but I got it too late. And that is a new mineral sunscreen from Fenty Skin. I think it's called Sun Visor or something like that. It doesn't seem to have the name anywhere else here on the package, but this is their new mineral SPF 30. And I wanted to try this one because I really appreciate the packaging that it comes in two pieces. So when you're finished with this, you slide this out and you keep this and then you just buy like a new one of these and pop it in. So I thought that was a really great idea and something that 
the sunscreen industry could really use because I feel like, especially having done all those, that it is a lot of wasted packaging. I tried this one twice. I didn't 100% love it either time, but I don't think it's terrible either. It would have been kind of in the middle for me. First time I tried it, I was in Charleston, South Carolina. It was humid and this didn't dry or set. It stayed really, really wet feeling and had a really super strong shine and a little bit of a white cast. I did put makeup on over it, but it made my makeup like slide around, made my mascara smudge under my eyes and I didn't love that. Once I got back home to New England where it's not as humid, I tried it again and it was much, much better. So it's one of those ones that's going to depend on where you live, how greasy it feels. It still wasn't 100% a favorite. It still didn't live up to their claims, which is that it's really primer-like and really fantastic under makeup. I didn't find it to be that. It does leave a little bit of white cast. All right, let's do makeup next. I gotta give a shout out to the foundation that I wear to test all of the sunscreens because I ended up wearing this like 30 days of the month this month because of testing all the sunscreens. And it was my L'Oreal True Match. And this is the new formulation of it that just came out a few months ago. And I really like this. The old L'Oreal True Match has been one of my holy grails for years now. And you know, when they kind of mess with the formula, you're always like really nervous. Is it gonna be as good? Are you gonna like it as much? I really like this one even better than the old one. It's not as thick, it's not as heavy, and um, it looks just beautiful on the skin, much more natural looking and it's a great foundation. The only thing that they kind of, you know, botched the job on is that they didn't keep the colors the same. So I wore N3 in the old one. In this one, I mix W3 and W4, but I love this foundation. I love how it wears, I love how it looks. It's just really great. It's not the foundation I'm wearing today. Today's foundation is from a dupes video that I put up in May, and I found so many good dupes in that video, you guys. If you haven't seen that one, definitely give it a watch. But I'm just gonna go over a few of my faves from that video. The foundation I'm wearing is definitely a favorite from that video. I've been wearing it, with the exception of the sunscreen testing, nonstop, and I think it's like one of my new favorite foundations. I've really been loving this Revlon Illuminance skin caring foundation. It is so beautiful. And this I really thought was a really close dupe for my number one to Chanel. And this is a $75 foundation and it looks beautiful on the skin. It looks so natural and so skin-like and you can't even really tell that you're wearing makeup. And this is like a perfect dupe for it. It wears the same. It's got skincare and, and skin loving ingredients in it but it's a fraction of the cost. I think this is like $17 and this is 75. So you know, really a much, much better price point. Just think it looks so nice and natural and it doesn't look like heavy makeup sitting on the skin. It plays well with others. It wears all day long. It doesn't settle in wrinkles. So really a great new foundation. So if you're looking for a new foundation, give this one from Revlon a try. The other dupes that I really love from that video were the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer as a dupe for the Say Sun Melt Bronzer. These are both really, really similar. So if you're a high-end person, you might still like the Say, but if you're looking to save a couple bucks, you could definitely go for the e.l.f putty bronzer. It's so easy to work with. It's just so easy to get it on. It looks so really nice and natural on the skin because it's sheer and it blends out really easily. So that was a real winner. The uh, e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. That is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. This really is like a perfect dupe for this. So I wear shade two in the e.l.f. I wear shade four in the Charlotte Tilbury, but they both are so, so very beautiful. I had duped the Urban Decay Vice Lip Bond with the Maybelline uh, Superstay Vinyl Ink, and these are so, so similar, you know, a real obvious dupe, but I actually like the Maybelline better than the Urban Decay. I think the shades in this are a lot better. It's a bigger shade range. They have more nudes. I have a lot of these that shows you how much I like them. I just keep going back and buying more. They're comfortable to wear all day. They stay in place really well through like a couple of meals and they're great. A couple of new makeup products that I tried behind the scenes. BK Beauty launched some new lipstick colors. They've had their lipstick line for a while now. I love their lipsticks. They're just the creamiest lipsticks. They never dry out your lips. I just had lunch with my daughter who's visiting from New York and uh, it's the end of the meal and she reaches in her purse and pulls out her lipstick to put on and it was a BK Beauty lipstick. She was like, oh my gosh, I love these so much. They're so creamy and they're so hydrating and they never dry out my lips. And I was like, yes, that's why I love them too. So anyway, we both were putting on our little BK lipstick, but this is one of the new shades and I love it. This is called Grace, so I'm wearing it today. That is kind of like, um, a perfect pinky brown nude. And it doesn't make my lips look cracked or older 
or drier. It just makes them look really like plump and juicy. And it doesn't run up into my lip lines, which is awesome. I hate lipsticks that run up into my lip wrinkles. So these lipsticks are really great. I have a 10% off discount with BK Beauty always, whether you're interested in one of my brushes or my whole brush set or their lipsticks or their eyeshadow palette. They have so many great products. It's Angie 10 for 10% off. And you just put that in at checkout and get whatever you want over there. And I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for my brushes to restock. It's June. The brushes are going to be restocking really soon. I wish they were restocking in time for this video. Today is the 9th. I think they're restocking on Monday. And then the last two items in makeup are eyeliners, a fave and a fail. So the fail is this one by Give. There's the shade on it. It's really creamy. It's really pretty. I love the color. The problem with it is that it will not deposit any color on my waterline. Like it just, it just doesn't. It works fine on skin. So it works great like on your eyelid. If you're gonna do eyeliner on your upper lid, it's really nice and creamy. It stays a little wet for a while so you can smudge it if you want, but it does set and then it stays in place pretty well. But on the waterline, it was just useless. <laughs> it was, I was just like, what? That was like a, half a fail just because of the waterline, but I have been using it above my lashes and it's been fine there. So I picked up another eyeliner from NYX because I love these Epic Wear eyeliners. They didn't have this shade the last time I went in, I don't think. This is called Gunmetal Gaze, so it's another gray. I prefer gray these days to black eyeliner. I don't even think it's like an age thing. Really, I think you can do it if it looks good on you. On me, it just never has, and so I don't really wear it. But this is a beautiful, like, metallic gray. So this one is the Give Topi one, and this one is the NYX one. This really gives really great payout in the waterline, and it doesn't transfer to your lower waterline. Like, it's waterproof. It stays in place. Um, okay, that's pretty much it for up here, except I can show you my top that I'm wearing. This is just a really cute little t-shirt I grabbed at Nordstrom the other day, went shopping and thought this was adorable. It's a little bit short, so I'm wearing it with super high-waisted jeans. You know, it's got the little lettuce edge here at the sleeves and at the bottom, you know, scrunchy. It's just like a cute little tee. So let me just show you this little guy. And I just have it on with these high-waisted Levi's. So there's the top. I just thought this was like a perfect little summer t-shirt. Really super cute. All right, so that's it for the stuff up here. Let me grab the camera. We'll go downstairs to my bathroom and I'll show you some more of my faves and fails for this month. All right, first thing around the house that I wanted to show you is my Sattva mattress. So many of you guys have been asking me how I like it now that I've had it for six months and I love it. This is when I got the Sattva Classic Extra Firm and it's like an organic cloth cover. It's a really good mattress. I also got the box spring for it and I love it. I have had the most comfortable sleep of my life on it and I was having a lot of back pain beforehand and now there's no back pain with it. So really just love the new mattress. I think it's been awesome. I highly recommend it. All right. Hey you guys, let's start in here in the bathroom. I've got some things here that I wanted to share. So I've been testing some new self tanners. So I usually use this guy here, Loving Tan, to our Express Tan, and I love that one, but I am almost out. And I always use the San Tropez mitt with it. I like the San Tropez mitt, but I saw this little mitt online and I thought, oh, that's got a little thumb because this one tends to spin around when I use it because it doesn't have a little thummy kin, but I like this one with the little thumb. So I use this one to put on the new self tanners and I really like this mitt a lot. Plus it's brown, so you know you don't see the stains in it so much. But the cool thing that I was excited about was this little gizmo to put your self tanner on your back because you know, some of us live alone. <laughs> and don't have someone to put our self tanner on us. Haven't used it yet because it's still so cold here and we actually are having that smoke from the um, Canada fire here, so it's not even good to be outside right now. As soon as summer gets here, I'm gonna be self tanning my back and I'm gonna use this for it. So I thought that was an awesome little set, so I grabbed that. So I tried this Bondi Sands 
And this one is really nice. I got this one in the shade Dark, and this is a foam much like the Loving Tan. It comes out brown. You can see where you're putting it. This gave me a really nice tan. I only did my legs, so I did this on one leg, and I got this one, Beauty by Earth Self Tanner Tanning Lotion. So this is different. This is like a cream. You can't really see where you're putting it. I like the tan that they both gave me. I feel like I got to be the same color in the same amount of time with both of these, and I feel like they lasted about the same amount of time. The main difference was that I'm not good about like standing around for a long time and letting my tanner um, dry and so I usually put it on and then put pants on and I had worn white pants so when I took them off I turned them inside out to see if any of the tanner had gotten on the legs so if you're like me and you like immediately put on your white pants which as you know was a mistake um, this one stained up the inside of my pants this one didn't it didn't transfer all over so if you're also someone who puts it on at night and then you get the tanner all over your sheets, then you might prefer this one over this one because this one didn't transfer on my clothes, but I felt like the amount of tan was about the same for one application. It lasted about the same amount of time. So, you know, just different things for different people. I didn't feel like either of them was like, gave me a better tan or look better or look streakier. This one, I didn't end up with any streaks. It actually went on really nice and I liked both products a lot and I still love Loving Tan. So any of these would be really, really good self tanners to try. This is the r, r sunscreen that I love so much. Just wanted to have it out to show you guys. If you're looking for a stick sunscreen, I love this Make Prim stick sunscreen. This is awesome for like sunscreening up the backs of your hands. You know, like if you are hopping in the car, you're going for a manicure, putting your hand in the gel in the UV light, you just want to top up your hands. That's a really great way to do it. This one is not greasy and uh, it doesn't leave a white cast. So it's a really nice little stick sunscreen. You can top up like your nose, your kids, take it to the beach, really good one. Um, talked about this last month. I'm almost out of this. This is the Gold Bond Age Renew Retinol Overnight Lotion. I really, really like this. Um, I am gonna be buying it in the larger size from Walmart because it does come in a larger size from them. And then what else do I want to have to show you? Oh, I was trying a new sunscreen because as you guys know, I love the Banana Boat sunscreen for my body. So I wear this like from here down, arms, you know, stuff that's exposed. I like this because it goes on really, really dry. It's not greasy at all. It doesn't stay greasy feeling. It doesn't make your clothes feel like they're sticking to you. It's really a great sunscreen. But I thought, you know, let me just try a few other things. So I tried this Hawaiian Tropic sunscreen. And I actually like this one a lot, but it is super fragranced. It smells like coconut, um, definitely Hawaiian and tropical. So if you don't like fragrance, I would say to go with the Banana Boat because it's fragrance free and it's dry feeling. This one is a little bit more like emollient feeling. It's a nice feeling sunscreen. It actually feels really nice on the skin, more like a moisturizer, not super greasy, um, but the fragrance is pretty strong, but it's a nice sunscreen. Last month, I told you about this bar shampoo that I had gotten. This is the Viore shampoo bar in Hidden Waterfall. It comes in this green, and isn't this packaging just the cutest? But I thought this scent was a little strong for me. It's like a, uh, kind of like a musky smell but it does smell good, just very strong. So I ordered it in the citrus instead. So I got the citrus in the shampoo, which is in my shower. And I also bought the conditioner bar to try that out. So I really like the shampoo bar. I'm not 100% sold on the conditioner bar. I felt like the conditioner didn't make my hair feel as moisturized and as soft and nice as the Orbe conditioner does. So I don't really use the conditioner bar. I used it once, I didn't love it. I've kind of gone back to using my Colleen Rothschild conditioner. I love that one, the mask, oh, it's so good. Remember when that was out of stock during pandemic and you couldn't get it and we thought it was never coming back? Well, it came back and now it's been in stock, so it's great stuff, it's in my shower. I use that with the bar and I like the fragrance on the citrus one so much better. And then I got this like little travel container to take them with if I go on a trip. I haven't used it yet, I'm thinking it might be like maybe a little big for that. You can put your bar soap, your bar shampoo in there. It has uh, holes in it so that 
any water can run out so it doesn't stay wet. But for in the shower, I think it's really nice and cute. But I only bought one and I was feeling like it's kind of big, so I'm not really sure on this one. But let me take you in the shower and show you what I did buy to put them in. I got these little dishes that have like a little wooden insert and I really like them. So this is the shampoo here and this is the conditioner. But aren't these cute? It's just this little, it's just like a little white melamine tray and then it just has this little wooden grid on the bottom that holds the shampoo and conditioner out of the water in case it gets any water in it. So I love those. I think this is pretty good, but it's not as good as I wanted it to be. My hair doesn't feel as great with that as it does when I use, say, the Orbe conditioner, which is awesome. This is my favorite shampoo and conditioner, but you know, they're so expensive. I thought if I could find something cheaper to alternate with them with, and I really, really like the shampoo bar. And then this is the conditioner that I use with it. It is the Colleen Rothschild Quench and Shine Restorative Mask. This stuff is magic for your hair. Um, but I didn't use those today. Today I used the Orbe set for my hair. I wanted to show you these. These are a couple of products that Undefined had sent me in PR. They sent me like their entire skincare line. These were the two that I was mainly interested in trying. They're hard to read because of the like super shiny stuff, but this is their day serum. And this I thought had such a great ingredient deck. Vitamin C, kojic acid, kakadu plum, niacinamide, licorice root, alpha arbutin, and tremelia mushroom. So this has all the things that you need for reducing redness in your skin and reducing discolorations all in this one product. And I love a, like a product that has a lot of active ingredients in it. So I've used this a couple of times and it's really, really nice. And then this is their um, like acid exfoliator. So it's a multi-acid. It has uh, lactic acid, it has 10% alpha hydroxy acid, beta hydroxy acid, and polyhydroxy acid. So it's got a mix of acids in there. And I've used this a couple of times and it's really nice, but actually I meant to pH test it to make sure that it is in the right pH for those acids to actually work in your skin. So hold on, let me go get my pH tester and we'll do that right now. And then with these, you just dip it in and then compare it to read it. That looks like it's right between 3 and 3.5. So that is in the right pH range. So that is a great little product if you're looking for like a multi-acid product. Wanted to talk about this little guy. These are the best. I bought this set of little spatulas for digging out the ends of, you know, like a face wash or something. I'm actually at the end of this. This is my favorite face wash. It's the Derma E Sensitive cleanser and I'm at the very, very end of this, but instead of having to like cut it open or, you know, bang it, you just take one of these and reach in there and you can pull out all the product that's left. Whoa, look at that. There's a ton in there. In the set, you get like three, I think it's three or four of them, I wanna say. I'm pretty sure there's also a purple one that's even smaller than this, and then there's a red one that's bigger than this that I use in my kitchen for like bigger, deeper things, but it's a great little set, so I'll link those below the video as well. All right, everybody, so that is the end of today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.